But this message is not here to integrate. It's here to dominate. It's here to dominate. Islam is here to dominate. Islam is here to dominate. This was an ideological struggle, the sole purpose of which to organize man's affairs in accordance with the system revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Our objective, our final objective is to create our own Islamic systems and not only create Islamic systems for Muslims but to look at all the other people who are sharing this country with us as potential Muslims. And in that long-range process of making America Muslim, all of America Muslim, then we have to have some actual short-range goals. We have to have some way of dealing with them and know how we're going to deal with them and in which ways and be very calculated about it. The nightmare on Downing Street, my dear brothers, is when the door of ten Downing Street is kicked down by one Wahid and a Khalif, he walks in and he establishes, this, establishes the Sharia. It, oh. The nightmare on Downing Street, my dear brothers, is when one Wahid, he pulls a rope and he raises the banner of Laid Alilah above Big Ben. The nightmare on Downing Street, my dear brothers, is when one Wahid, he flies with a helicopter all the way to the top of Big Ben. They remove all of those numbers and they replace it with the Arabic numbers. And as you all understand, we as Muslims, we are not those type of coconut, chocolate, moderate Muslims. The ones who bow their heads down to the government. Rather, we are the ones who want to, inshallah, work for the sake of Allah to establish the Ishar of Deen and make sure David Cameron comes on his hands and knees and gives us the jizya. Yeah, that's right. And that we cover up all of the women and put niqab on their face, including Queen Elizabeth and Kate Middleton as well. Poenia, yeah. som ni kanske börjar känna av nu, är att vi är i Sverige endast för att sprida islam. Vi måste inte ta 20 år innan Sverige blev muslimskt land. Och jag skojar inte, Sverige kan bli ett muslimskt land. Hur många muslimer var det i början? Lyssna din svenska hora. Vi araber, vi här för att ta över ditt fucking land. Så gå ner på dina fucking knän och sug min kuk till din svenska lilla hora. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, din hora. Tweet. This religion, that is Islam, it shall govern the whole universe. The Islamic civilization should rule and govern and direct people in every walks of life but not to be governed uh, by uh, others. I find that there are only two things which are open to our movements. Ballot or bullet, nothing in between. Our job is to change the constitution of America. Hardwired. The society doesn't have a rigid code. How can we allow? We do have a code. We have a code. So, so that gives us an advantage because they are like jello and we are like a knife. So there is uh, jihad, the primary jihad in the Quran, in the jihad in the world. But there is jihad in the sense of violence. There is no doubt about this. Islam is not a massive religion. Islam is a realistic religion. 
the only obligation that we have to live in this country is doubt. Because why am I saying that? Because we are paying taxes. These taxes are going to killing people, our brothers and sisters. So we better have a pretty good justification for our here. The end goal of everything that we're talking about is the establishment, the re-establishment of the Islamic form of government. It is very important media in the United States is very powerful. Okay. And they will see you have something, especially as a Muslim, if you have something to say, they'll come running to you and take advantage of that. Muslims pretend to be nice people. Oh, but this is so jarring to Canadian so ears. The Westerns are very naive. Say, they say that they are very uh, peaceful and love people. What, the, what are you saying? Surely most, naive. Muslims are. Surely most Muslims are peaceful people. Naive. You're saying every Muslim is like that? Look, every true Muslim is like that. A moderate Muslim, contemporary, polite, and moderate. But when the Islam prevails, all of them they will become true Muslims and follow that strategy. We know them because we live among them 14 centuries. We live among them and they know them very well. But the Western people did not live with them. So they just only see the peaceful way. But one day will come. And they will know the truth, but it will be too late. I'm sorry to say that. And the Christians are Catholics. And you may say to yourself, no, 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 they're innocent. No Catholic is innocent. No Catholic is innocent.